Okay, my friends, tonight we're going to cover a big swath of time from the 30s to uh, early in this century. And uh, we're going to talk about the best bulking program that is too brutal for the masses. Certainly the best old school bulking program, but like I said, it hasn't stayed in the old school. And I'm going to start with a few excerpts from this book that's, I think, like 15 years old. I should have titled it better, guys. I mean, it's King Squat, Rise to Power. Mm, you know, I tried and I kind of messed up on that title. I think. Anywho, this is um, chapter two out of that book. This is the introduction with Peary. There's Peary and Mabel, and Peary was a big, big proponent of the squat in general. And he didn't invent the 20 rep breathing squat, but he was one of the early guys that actually tried it. It was J.C. Heisey, how, how it's talking about here. Uh, when he's saying some unbelievable gains were made by these guys, he's talking mainly about J.C. Heisey, supposedly gained 29 pounds in a month. Uh, not the best clear picture there, folks, but I mean, you can see you can see the uh, his frame and the bulk. Um, he had, you know, he jumped up to that from, you know, like a normal size under 200 guy to then like 230-something, and then... Next thing you know, he's almost 300 pounds. So, here, in two years, I gained 70 pounds. That's Mr. Raider talking about uh, his results from doing the, uh, basically, rap rolling around the 20 rep squats. Now, this is Milo Steinburn, who was uh, came over from Germany and was one of the big um, proponents of squatting and helped things get started there and worked uh, with Milo Barbell and stuff like that. Now, this was, uh, <coughs> I don't know that this is the original uh, bar that they were talking about back there, <coughs> but something like that, probably. Here's Mr. Clarence Ross, squatting deep, and they, they believed in squatting deep back those days. Um, but they don't really suggest on the 20 rep breathing squats that you have to go below parallel. Parallel, I believe, is just fine. In fact, I think it might uh, not be so beneficial to go super deep on those. And there's Mr. Draper, and he looks like he's uh, not quite butt to the ground, but getting pretty close. That's there we talk about uh, Mr. Kurt, Joseph Curtis Heisey. Again, uh, went from 160 to 200 after a little leg work. Because uh, he was probably a natural good gainer, you know. And uh, this is just another alternative type of squat. Um, bodybuilders love them. Um, a lot of power guys like them, too. They're a good exercise. I don't care for myself. Anywho, um, so... Uh, Joe, because of the results that he got with his um, super squat program, which we're going to describe later, um, you know, he gained all this weight and people were like, you know, knocking his door down and then writing him letters and asking him how he did it. And apparently he was pretty nice and he responded to a whole lot of them. And I think he developed a little mail order business for himself, but it talks about that he hooked up with this guy, Mr. Grimmick. That was him in the 30s, John Grimmick. And uh, two became friends, and, uh, you know, obviously uh, Grimmick could move some weight. He was not quite uh, anywhere near the size of Heisey, but uh, I'm sure they had some pretty good workouts together. And here it's talking about the Cambered Bar that he ended up doing. This is me goofing off and... Uh, the back of uh, my old friend's fitness factory right down the road on 309. Used to be there anyway. So anyway, let's go back to Joe. Uh, should not exercise over three times a week on growing or twice a week on strength building or lifting. So pretty limited. So, uh, you know, I mean, uh, if you're trying to get ripped, that's certainly not the way to go. This is a moon bench, which Zoovers had... Um, so a couple double moon benches that uh, the old man made for the place. Anyway, um, this is just me kind of summing up uh, this whole thing. And then I mentioned the high C shrug, which is another thing that they called for for high reps, like 20 reps. Um, because that, that kind of thing boosts the metabolism. At least that's what they felt. So this is uh, George Coates' article that I found, in Breathing Squat for Fast Gains. Here, and uh, give you this is a quick text box that goes with the uh, with the picture. 
Um, talking about how great this uh, whole system is working. And there's been a number of variations and, you know, you can change the upper body stuff. This is another one by Peary Raider. This is just the, the picture in the, in their centerfold with the article, which I'm going to show you the real quick, at least the text. I don't expect you to sit there and read it because it's, it's too small, but I just wanted to show you. And you can see it's by Peary Raider. Super weight gaining course. And of course, the beef of that course, again, is his 20 rep squats. Now, here's Bill Starr. Now, he did uh, The Strongest Shall Survive. And he's got a lot of good stuff. And, and uh, this is talking about his big three, which, of course, included squats. I don't think he did 20 rep ones, or at least that wasn't part of his program. Now, this is Brad Steiner, you know, Mr. Hard Gainer. Uh, but he wrote an Iron Man. With, uh, he did a whole article on squats and milk. He talks about uh, this gentleman here. And again, they're emphasizing how it actually changes your metabolism. And, I, and uh, it's a good bulker. Now, are you going to gain, dependent on your diet, back in those days with squats and milk, as much milk as they drank, with the sole purpose of gaining weight, you can put on some fat. Anyway, three times a week. Three times a week to do 20 rep squats is pretty freaking aggressive. Um, I know I couldn't handle it. Here's, uh, I like this guy, Mr. Bosco, who's a cool cartoon. There's a couple of different uh, squat variations. I'll do a press from uh, from behind the neck while you're squatting or just jumping squats. Uh, anywho, um, this is another sort of abbreviated program. So if you don't have a lot of time to work out, it's, it's talking about, you know, there's only three exercises in the program. So uh, they only recommend it, like a couple sets of each back then. But, you know, the one was... 20 rep breathing squats, so that, that changes everything, and you don't know how it changes everything. Uh, there he goes. Uh, but he does interestingly talk about doing the same, a uh, similar breathing system with the other exercises, like the deep breathing, where you're, you know, you're just really trying to suck air in on every rep. Now, in '89. Randy Strassen came out with this book, which, guess what it's based on? 20 rep breathing squats, went way back to Heisey. And then, interestingly enough, the only um, particular magazine that I have of the physique magazine there, that protect natural physique, just happens to have 20 rep squat training builds muscle article. How lucky could I get? So, here it is, and it's called, interestingly, Hard Time Training for Tough People. Uh, and it says down on their bottom, it can, can build muscle quickly. Now, here's their version of the routine. Not a whole lot different than uh, the squats and milk or the original program. You can change the upper body ones around to your liking. Here it's just talking about um, getting a good position when you're in squatting position to do these, because you certainly don't want to be in an you know in an awkward position or leaning forward or anything like that. And it also mentions that you can use the 20 rep system with deadlifts, but I would never deadlifts like my favorite power lift and the best thing best that I can do anyway out of the three. Um, but I I wouldn't dream of trying 20 reps with any kind of weight on the squat, on a deadlift. I'm, I'm sorry. Now here, you can also, alternatively, this is the old school type of um, belt squat where you, you, know, you have the weight bounded on a belt with the strap down to the weight and then you're going between two benches. Now this is, um, this book has a lot more than obviously just the squats and milk program, but it is in there. It is part like the, one of the keys to the whole thing. 
But other than that, it's uh, it's a pretty good book. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, and then one more from uh, Mr. Raider is that last one was about the uh, rest pause version of the 20 rep squats where you would actually unrack the weight instead of just pumping out the 20 reps consecutively however long it takes you you could do like five throw it back on the rack take a pause and then do that you know like three more times so anyway that's about it um thanks again for watching and i'm out